on This Life in Bama, we are at the Gardendale Civic Center, and we are here to look at the North Arts Council Christmas Arts and Crafts Show. Let's take a look and see what they have here. Tell me what y'all are out here doing today. Oh, yes, out. I bake cake, bread, cinnamon rolls, fried pies, fudge, jellies, all kinds of stuff. Five kinds of fried pies. Yeah. I tasted the fruitcake. It's delicious. Thank you. And we bought one. Boy, it was good. You got to put a little rum in there or something. <laughs> one lady asked me how long was that stay fresh. I said probably forever. Yeah. <laughs> and you're making gourds today? You I can... am making gourds today. We yeah. saw you at the at the gourd festival in Coleman. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. They're, they come with a color book that has the story from beginning to end, what happens with the gourds. They're very educational with a box of crayons and some egg gourds that you can actually color on and the color will stay. And he's made out of a gourd? He is gourd pieces, epoxy sculpt, tape, tin foil. Uh, his ears are pods from a potpourri set that I had. Merry Christmas! Hello, how are you? I'm good. Doing well. You do this knitting, crocheting? Yes, I do. All day and night, too, sometimes. <laughs> Got a lot of free stuff. Selling pressed flower artwork. How long have you been doing this? Several years. You enjoy it, obviously. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I like taking the Lord's flowers and making them last a lot longer. Very good. Tell me what y'all got going on. We got golf balls. They got covers to go on them. So, you got a little card golf ball. And it goes right back together. Oh, that's cool. These would make great Christmas gifts. A lady came in and bought a bunch of the hanging ones for her Christmas list. I'm uh, probably best known for carving the uh, tree carvings in Ore Park in Montebello. And what are you doing here today? Oh, I'm uh, at an art show trying to trying to sell some golf balls and some uh, my tree carvings. They look fascinating. Ten foot dragon right there. Wow. There's when it was fresh carved. It was still kind of red looking there. Tell me what you're doing here today. Selling bird houses and bird feeders. You make these? Yes, I did. Are they, do you have fun making them? I enjoy it very much. Tell me what you're doing here today. We're here with Cotton Picking Pottery out of Coleman, Alabama. And me and my mother make pottery together. Tell me what all y'all do. We make mixing bowls, cookie jars, butter bells. We specialize in cotton pieces because our name's Cotton Picking Pottery. And so we specialize in putting cotton on everything. What made you decide to do that kind of a thing? Because yeah. your design. It was an accident. Uh, we found our name, me and my mother found our name, Cotton Pickle Pottery Company, and thought we could put a piece of cotton on something and sell it, and people in North Alabama might like it, and ended up they like it a whole lot. So we started putting cotton on everything. I did it in school, and I wanted to be an art teacher. That was my. That was what I wanted to go to school for, and I loved pottery out of all of my classes better than I loved anything. When I retired from being a designer three years ago, I went back and I started in pottery. I went and bought a wheel. Brett came for Christmas and I showed it to him and he was a natural and we just went from there. He was hooked, huh? He was hooked. <laughs> We had a 
really good time at the arts and crafts show today. I thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, please click on that bell so you'll receive notifications when I upload new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.